Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use Doodly to create a micro training video for a company's human resources department. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Micro training is a quick, easy and effective way to provide learning materials for employees. It is designed to be consumed quickly, but still deliver useful knowledge in a short period of time. Now, microtraining can be delivered in a variety of ways, for example, text-based lessons, video tutorials, audio clips, or even images and diagrams. Of course, we are going to use Doodly to create a short, engaging whiteboard video. The video can be used as standalone training delivered, for example, through email or on a learning portal. It could even be delivered in the company's Slack channel. And if you wanted, you could even include it in a longer PowerPoint presentation. In our example today, our audience is going to be new hires. So we want to share our company's four guiding principles. Our goal is to ensure that all new hires understand the basic values and standards of our organization. Yes, these are detailed in the company's policy manual, but by using a short little video, we can help make sure everyone is aware of them. So here's my script. I'm going to keep it short and sweet, right? This is just a micro training. So we have a welcome message. We have our four core values. So this is what it's all about. And then a short closing. So now that we have our script, it's time to create the content. So let's go ahead and get started. We're basically going to have six scenes. So I'm going to go ahead and add them now. So we have an opening scene and then one scene for each of the values and then a closing scene. The closing scene will you know, have maybe a call to action of sorts, like what's the next step that we want them to do. So it's going to be very, very simple. So let's start with our opening scene. Let's give it a name. You can't really see it because I have it in white today, but I'm going to change this to say R4 values. And that may be a little large. And let's go ahead and add our logo. So we'll go to props. You may recognize this logo from last week. It is a animated GIF file or GIF if you prefer. And I'm just going to have it fade on. And I'm going to have it fade on very quickly. And I'm just doing a little bit of housekeeping here. I always turn erase mode off because I don't generally like it. And let's just do a different hand today just for fun. And then at the end of this scene, I like to give it a little extra time. We will need to add the voiceover and adjust accordingly. Now there's many different ways we can approach audio. Today I'm going to use the subtitles function as a little cheat sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my text and then I'm going to record it. I'm going to do this scene by scene. So bear with me while I copy and paste my subtitles into each scene. Okay, so now that I have my subtitles in, I'm going to go ahead and start with the first scene. And I'm going to go down to the narration timeline. I'm going to hit the plus sign. And when I'm ready, I'm going to hit this little red microphone button. And the scene's going to play and the subtitle's going to be there. And I'm just going to read it. Now I should have sufficient time to read it all. We'll find out. Welcome to Acme Corporation, a company built on four core values, customer focus, innovation, excellence, and integrity. And I just went ahead and stopped it. And I think that is fine. I might just bring it down just a little earlier here. And now I can trim my ending here. So I'm about four seconds, maybe five seconds too long. So I've got a scene settings and let's just change this to five seconds and I'll do the same for my next scene. At Acme Corporation, we strive to put our customers first. We're always looking for ways to improve the experience of using our products and services. And that's fine. I'm going to trim this down as well. And the ending of this. What that allows me to do is tighten it up a bit. Okay, so I think that's good. And I'm about one, two, three and a half seconds too long on this one. So scene settings, and so we'll do 4.5. Okay, so that was easy. I love that trick of using the subtitles for my little audio prompts. 
Now, if I wanted, I can go over here to settings and right here, subtitles, I can now turn those off. So now when we view the video, the subtitles are no longer there. Welcome to Acme Corporation, a company. Okay, so it's up to you. If you were planning on using subtitles anyway, then leave them on. So now let's take a look at scene two. Right here at Acme, we strive to put our customers first, looking for ways to improve the experience of our customers. So we just need some graphics that say customers first, right? So I kind of like this look that I have going with the black and white heavy text in the background. So I'm gonna use that throughout the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these two items and copy them and then paste them into each scene. Don't worry about the timing changing here. We're gonna adjust as we go. So obviously this no longer says core values. We are now at customers first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type this. And I'm just gonna go through all three of these. Then this last one, I don't know yet, but we're just gonna call it for now, next steps, which actually that's probably just fine. So customers first. I was thinking somebody holding a sign. And then I was thinking of putting like a star rating in the sign. So let's just put some stars in here. My idea is that she's holding like a five star rating or a testimonial. Okay, I do have rainbow, so I'm gonna use them colored in. And I'm gonna adjust this. I don't need it to draw in for three seconds, maybe one second each. And then I'm gonna copy. Let's get these all in here. And then let's make sure the order's in the right order. And then let's just type in some text here. And tilt and center. Okay, let's just take a look. I may need to move my audio down just a bit here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another audio track. And this way, I can just kind of move this up into this other track here. And we can work with it that way. So let's just take a quick preview. At Acme Corporation, we strive to put our customers first. We're always looking for ways to improve the experience of using our products and services. Okay, so that'll be good. So I just need to shorten this up by about two and a half seconds. So let me just take this down to two seconds at the end. And then we'll just move this down. And now we're gonna go over to innovation. So I was thinking people sitting around a table. So let's see what we have. We have a group here, people brainstorming. And then maybe a light bulb. You'll notice that this is my audio for my scene, so it's this many seconds, and my scene is much too long, right? Well, that's just a little matter of changing the timing. So just kind of think about how much we can reduce it. Just by going two seconds each on each of my characters, I'm shortening it up quite a bit. and. I may even want to start with some of the characters in place, or all of them, if I wanted. Or I could bring in my audio just a touch later and then move everything down a bit. We will have background music, so it's fine if you don't fill the entire scene with your voice, okay? That's nothing wrong with that. Okay, on to the next scene. I thought a trophy might be good for excellence. So arms up is a good symbol signify excellence so maybe do something like that and so just some characters celebrating i think that will be good let's move everything down a bit audio wise and again my scene's quite a bit longer than my voiceover so i am going to change some things and i think that should be just right integrity so let's move this into position here Now 
Now this is an item I had imported earlier. Okay, I do have the drawing pads. I just wanted to be sure. And timing wise, I think that's gonna be just fine. And then here we are, next steps. So what are our next steps? Okay, so we're just saying thank you for joining us and welcome aboard, but I want to also direct them somewhere. Okay, so let's just go ahead and type in what we want them to do. So these are new hires. So let's have them download the company policy manual. Remember I said we want to think about, okay, how are they receiving this video? Is it embedded in a web page? And if so, then maybe the link to the company policy manual is down below. So you can put arrows down pointing to it. If you're using this in a training portal, maybe you have it hosted on voomly.com and you have a whole, a whole series of things. If it's in a Slack channel, maybe you will then also have the link embedded in you know the whole message that you're sending. So you might not need to specify an arrow pointing or not, or maybe you want to tell them exactly where to get it. So you could put the URL here. So www.acme.com. You could do something like that, telling them exactly where to go. Let's just go ahead and put an arrow in, just pretending. Something like that. Now let's add some music. Okay, so this is about a 60 second long micro training. So go to sounds, categories, music, and then you're just gonna wanna listen to the various tracks and find one that you find appropriate. We'll just take this one. Now before I drag and drop it into the timeline, I've used up two tracks, but I do have an empty track here. This top one is completely empty. So that's where I'm gonna go ahead and put it. So I'm just gonna drag it into place. I am going to turn it way down because I do have a voiceover. I like to go really low, like 10%, okay? So I don't want it drowning out my voice. And I don't know that I want this big fanfare at the beginning, so look what I can do. I can take that off, move this back down, and then right click, fade in, Make it like a four second fade. And then at the end, it's too long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Just tighten it, right click, fade out, and then a nice slow fade, okay? And that is it. We have created a micro training video for our HR department. So let's take a quick look and then we will be done. Welcome to Acme Corporation, a company built on four core values, customer focus, innovation, excellence, and integrity. At Acme Corporation, we strive to put our customers first. We're always looking for ways to improve the experience of using our products and services. Innovation is key to our success. We're constantly looking for new ways to solve problems and deliver value. Excellence guides everything we do. We take pride in the high quality products and services we deliver. Integrity is essential in all that we do. Acme Corporation stands by its word and ensures the highest standards of ethical behavior. These four core values are at the heart of everything we do here at Acme Corporation. Thank you for joining us and welcome aboard. And there you have it. This is how you can use Doodly to create micro training videos. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching. Bye.